In this video, we are going to understand how to create a subscriber in Flowdesk from new Facebook lead ads. So here our objective is every time we receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then this lead should be added as a subscriber in Flowdesk, which is an excellent email marketing tool. How can we do this? By integrating these two with the help of Pabli Connect. So here our trigger will be Facebook lead ads and our action application will be Flowdesk. Now to understand how you can do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process, let me take you to my screen. So this here is my Flowdesk account, which is an excellent email marketing tool. And here my objective is every time we receive a new lead through Facebook lead ads, then automatically the lead should be created as a subscriber in Flowdesk. Now to understand how we can do this, let's start. Now this here is the dashboard of Public Connect software. You can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are a new user, you have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. And if you are an existing user, simply sign in. So once you do that and reach the dashboard, now on the right hand side, you can see this tab create workflow, click on this and this dialog box will appear, which will ask you to name this workflow. Now here you can give any random name. I'm going to name it as add new leads from Facebook lead ads to Flowdesk. Let's click on create. So as we do that here, you can see we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. So trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now let's take an example. The moment you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get an automated response on your WhatsApp or SMS. Now this is automation. And in this case, your trigger will be the payment gateway like Instamojo, Razorpay, etc. And your action event will be services that help you in sending WhatsApp or SMS messages. Let's come to our use case. So here my trigger application will be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this. And then comes the trigger event. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it will be new lead instant. Okay, so now I'm going to click on connect. As I do that here, Pabli Connect wants to connect itself with Facebook lead ads account. Let's click on add new connection, connect with Facebook lead ads. So I already have logged into my Facebook account. Here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now, once this is done here, we have to enter the page and the lead generation form. So let me take you to my Facebook account and now let's go to the pages that I have created. Now you can see these are the various pages that I already have created. Now let's say that I wish to work on this A to Z Ayurvedic store. So I'm going to look for A to Z Ayurvedic store have and now the lead generation form. So here you can see since there was only one lead generation form associated with it. So it has already been captured by the system. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as I do that here, you can see it has shown that it is waiting for webhook response. Now the moment I have added the webhook URL or the moment I have connected the two applications, then we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to take you to Meta for developers here. Let's go to my applications. Let's go to tools. Now here, as I take you down, we have lead ads RTU debug tool. Now here I'm going to look for A to Z Ayurvedic store. So let's check this here we have. Okay. So here now I'm going to click on preview form and this here is the form. Let's enter the email address. So it is smart at Pabli tutes.com then we have the full name so it's smart user one now we have to enter the phone number so done now let's click on next submit and here you can see that the form has been submitted taking you back to Pabli connect here you can see we have received the response so this here is the email address of the person name mobile number this is the date and time of creation and then we have the id form id field data etc now once we have received this information with this information i want to create a lead in flowdesk so let's click on this look for flowdesk here it is then comes the action event and here I'm going to select create or update subscriber. Let's click on connect. 
so here we can see that again public connect wants to connect with flow disk account so click on add new connection connect with flow disk and here we have to sign in once again so as we do that pabli is requesting permission to access my flow disk account this is absolutely secure i'm going to click on allow and as i do that here you can see that the authorization has been successful which means that flow disk and pabli connect are now connected now once this is done here we have to fill in this information first of all choose by which you want to create or update subscriber here we have got two options email or subscriber id i'm going to go ahead with email then here we have to enter the field value which means we have to enter the email address of the person so i'm going to click on this go to the previous step here you can see the response this here is the email address now this method with which we have entered the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time your workflow runs in real time with some new data it can take that data if i had written the same information manually then it would have become static and it wouldn't have taken the new data instead every time you know a new lead would be received this was the email address that would have been shown so to avoid that we map the information now here we have to enter the first name let's map this again okay let's go to step 1 but here you can see we have the complete name so we'll have to split the name and to do this i'm going to add another action step and this time i'm going to use a feature by pabli which is text formatter let's click on this and here the action event will be to split text let's click on connect and as i take you down here we have to enter the text to split so here is the full name now here we need the space to be the separator so here i'm going to write like this double curly braces space double curly braces closed so it is also mentioned here in the help text now which segment do i want i want the first name as well as the last name so let's go for all click on save and send test request and as we do that you can see we have received our desired response now i'm going to take you down make this connection once again by clicking on the existing connection okay let's take you down now here as i click on first name you can see the second step this here is the first name last name again go to second step this here is the last name now do you want to send opt in confirmation emails to subscribers i have selected no if you wish to go for this you can select yes as well i'm going to click on save and send test request and as i do that here you can see that i have received the response according to which now a lead must be created in flow disk let's go to flow disk now okay here let's go to audience and you can see that yes we have our subscriber created so this basically means that our integration is a success let's check the same in real time so i'm going to take you back to meta for developers and i'm going to close this delete the previous lead once you have deleted the lead do not forget to refresh the page and once you have done that here again we are going to look for ayurvedic store here it is okay now click on preview form so here's the form let's fill in the details email address let's say this time is test123 at pablitudes.com then we have the full name so it is test user123 and then we have the phone number now i'm going to click on next and submit the moment this has been submitted now i'm going to take you to floresk and here i'm going to quickly refresh this page and here we can see that the subscriber has been created so this means our integration is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to pabli connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application is facebook lead ads where the event is new lead instant then our action application was a feature by pabli text formatter where we had to split the complete name and finally our action application was flow disk where we had to create or update a subscriber I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any integration that you wish to work on, then you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com/connect. 
to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.